Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the letsbuildanapp.com channel. I hope you guys are doing well and I hope you're having a fabulous day out there in the real world. Now, today's video, I wanted to make a quick lesson on a couple of different tips and tricks with the Swift UI preview panel right here on the right side of Xcode. And so a lot of you guys know that whenever you run your application in the simulator here, uh, let me show you by hitting the play button. Uh, one thing that you can do is you can wait for your app to fire up here. And if you wanna turn this guy into light mode, right? So let's say light mode, you can go down here, click on the toggle, uh, click on interface style, and then just click on light mode like so. Uh, you're probably gonna have to wait a couple of seconds and eventually your simulator is gonna turn into light mode like so. Now, this is actually really useful, but in addition to modifying the simulator uh, to light and dark mode, you can actually do a lot more in the Swift UI preview panel here instead. So let me go ahead and hit resume. And you'll notice that I have two different modes or two different color schemes right here, the dark mode and the light mode. I don't have to go through the uh, tedious step of toggling this guy over and over. I can just look at exactly what my application will preview uh, right here on the right side. So another thing that you can do is you can give this guy maybe a preview layout of something like 400 by 500, and this guy is going to change automatically. Okay, so there's actually a lot you can do here, and I wanna show you guys uh, line by line as to what's possible in the preview. And what I'll do first is I just wanna lay out the simple view of my shop view right here. And uh, basically my shop view is this guy. If you hit play, you can you know start playing around with the application like this here. So that's basically my application. If you wanna fix this layout problem on the top, uh, you can just say dot ignore and just ignore all the edges like so. And then now your application is working fine. So the first question we have to answer here is uh, how exactly do we preview uh, multiple color schemes inside of the right side panel here, right? Well, the easiest way of doing this is to use a for each loop. So for each loop and provide it with the color scheme of a dark like so, and just use a light scheme as well. And uh, for a for each loop, you have to specify the ID of dot self. And let's just say scheme in right here. Okay, I'm going to put this guy in here and you're gonna see two different previews right now, uh, one per each of the items right here. And to apply the color scheme on the shop view right now, uh, you just wanna say color scheme and use the scheme inside of your iteration right here. And then once you do that, you'll see that the dark mode is on top and then the light mode is on the bottom here. Uh, you can minimize this guy to see it a little bit better, I suppose, but I feel like 75% uh, is pretty good here. Okay, so this is 100% and everything is looking quite nice. So uh, something else that you can also do is, you see I have the actual simulator uh, previewed as the iPhone 11 Pro because of this option here, right? If I change it to the iPhone 11 Plus, it'll change on the right side as well. Uh, takes a little bit of time. If your computer is slow, uh, it's going to be really slow, but my computer is pretty fast. So uh, let me change this back to the 11 Pro and it does this like so. Now, if you wanted to just preview the uh, actual device on the right side, you can control that as well. So you can just say preview device like that. And uh, the actual device I want to preview is maybe the iPhone 8 and I'm going to put the eight right here, and you can see both of these devices now are previewing the iPhone eight. And you can you know, modify this string to be whatever. I believe you can also put the model string inside of here as well, and it should work out. Uh, you can say iPhone XS Max to get the largest <laughs> iPhone in the preview panel there. Okay, so that's a very useful trick. And uh, you know it's useful because you don't have to go inside of this menu here and just toggle the options, you can do it directly in the code like this. Okay, so that's one of the nice tricks. Uh, the other thing that you can do is to use the preview layout. And I find this to be uh, one of the more useful tips here. And what exactly is this layout? Well, you can just provide it with the uh, fixed size with the width and height, right? 
So, you know, the typical height for an iPhone uh, X or XS Max is, I think it's somewhere around the height of 800. So let's say I don't exactly want to use 800, I want to use something custom, right? Well, you can just provide whatever values you want inside of here, and everything's going to look pretty nice. I find that using this is a really good option because uh, even, you know, my screen right now is a 1440p screen. I feel like there's not enough vertical space to see everything at the same time. So being able to control exactly how tall your previews is pretty useful in my opinion. And this guy, maybe you want to change it to 700. This looks pretty good. And minimize this guy to 75%. And you can even bump this up to 800 to see exactly how your application is going to scale. All right, so that's pretty much all of the tricks that I've been learning over the past month or two with Swift UI development. Uh, using this, uh, these couple of tricks here will definitely uh, make your UI development process a lot faster. You don't have to you know, toggle your simulator, you don't have to toggle this menu over and over, and you don't have to go from light mode to dark mode. Everything is just baked inside of your preview right here. And obviously you can do a lot more, but uh, these are the most useful tips that I know of right now. Okay, if you guys uh, liked today's video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you wanna learn more about Swift and Swift UI development, there are going to be more and more courses uh, available on the letsbuildthatapp.com website. That's gonna be it for today. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.